Good morning. Woo. It is morning, isn't it? It's uh, 28th of November 2019, the holiday season. Just got its big kickoff, at least here in the so-called U.S., with a whole bunch of hoopla and pizzazz and football and turkey and genocidal colonialism and casserole and pie and now, oh boy. Uh, if you don't enjoy Christmas carols, the next month is not going to be kind to you. Stay strong, my friends. I kind of enjoy them. Actually, I weirdly enjoy the churchy ones, even though I am a bona fide pagan. Uh, but the holiday season, whatever you celebrate, is a great time to reconnect with friends and family. I know that not everyone has a supportive nuclear family to go to, but whether it's a family of close-knit friends, a blended family, a found family, an intentional community, or whatever else, a family's close bonds of love and affection make us more prone to listen to them for better and for worse. <laughs> so if you're, hypothetically, in a video game, organizing for social and political revolution, you would be silly not to leverage the holidays to plant seeds. You'd be silly not to listen to what issues your family cares about and show how communism, that is to say, stateless classes, moneyless workers on the means of production, you know the drill. And if you don't, well, there are links in the description because we all come to this stuff from different situations. Welcome to BreadTube. I hope you've had as much fun as I've had and more. Um, I hope you can. Uh, I hope you can steer clear of some of the weirder drama and uh, enjoy yourself. And if you've got any questions, please come see me. It's it's all good. Anyhow, you hypothetically in a video game could ask some leading questions around the festive table. Be sure to point these at the people who might actually listen to you. That way, when any reactionary present harumphs at you, they harumph at both of you, establishing solidarity. Uh, focus on causes and conditions more than party politics. Stick to what you know, brush up on whatever you want to discuss. Send your receptive relatives links to other BreadTube videos about the things that interest or concern them. We can and should remember the genocides and conquests that founded some of our celebrations, and you can do your bit to help well-meaning but forgetful relatives remember. We must be gentle with them. Hopefully, in most cases, this is not like sparring with some troll online, mostly because I'm hoping that these discussions will be with people who sympathize with you, who will listen, and... I really hope that these discussions will be effective and potentially change some crucial minds, old and young, near and far. I believe that both family and the greater leftist cause are built on love, and so are most of our cherished holiday traditions, too. Throughout history, times of celebration have been times to mock the powerful. Oh God, my script says poserful. Throughout history, times of celebration have been times to mock the powerful and of popular revolt against unjust authorities. We need celebration to be human. Therefore, we must liberate celebration by celebrating our liberation. Oh, but we haven't achieved our true liberation yet. Why celebrate? Well, we will celebrate when we've won against business as usual, right? No doubt we're going to celebrate the anniversary, too. Why, then, should we not celebrate in anticipation as well? Something to think about. I really hope you have the very best of holiday seasons, whatever the heck you celebrate. And uh, I'm going to have more holiday-themed videos coming up this coming month. And remember, December 10th through 13th is the YouTube walkout. I hope to see everybody, um, everybody participating. And uh, you can... Follow that with links in the doobly-doo. Follow the hashtags and such. Anyway, I'm out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna devour some bird. I will see y'all later. Look at that wind. Whoa, awesome. It's a very blustery day.